uh, Amira Hall, uh, spirit medium, is our guest today. Now, Amira, Reverend Amira, mm -hmm. I might add, is a former corporate sales executive turned internationally renowned clairvoyant quantum energy healer, spirit medium, and mentor following an NDE while she was traveling in Egypt. She has a master's degree in metaphysics and is also the author of five books, wow, including Manifesting Miracles 101, Love Up Your Life, and The Essential Guide to Spiritual Awakening. Amira is also the founder of Heartgate International, where they teach ancient secrets for life mastery, activating psychic abilities, personal enlightenment, healing, and abundance. And you can find out more details about her and her work at amirahall.com. Amira, welcome to the show. How you doing? <laughs> I'm super fantastic. How are you, beautiful flames? Oh, we are super fantastic, <laughs> too. Fantabulous. Thank you for asking. <laughs> we have been super stoked about yeah. having you on um, and just really anxious for um, our listenership to get to pick your brain. Yeah, we heard about you through a dear friend of ours who has a, a YouTube channel that we love, uh, Unbiased and on the Fence, Shane Robinson. And he's like, dudes, you got to get this lady on. And they're all, you got to get her on. I want to get her on. But somebody, one of the two of us has got to get her on. So we're like, okay, that's good enough for us. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I just want to say that it has been an intense week and the energy is building and I feel like we're on a crescendo right now. Right. Yeah, yeah I feel like it's um, the grand hoorah, you know, like the fireworks. It's time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everything is exploding. Like Alan and I deliberately took three days this week. Um, to strictly work on artwork in this great sanctuary. And as we're working, we're getting phone calls and emails and it's just, it went, it went crazy. And I'm like, yeah, that's how you live your passion. And everything just kind of follows the energy. Yeah. I mean, it was nothing we were consciously doing. We actually just decided, you know what, we're going to take time for us, you know, do what we love. And, uh, you know, and I'm sure you can attest to this as your former life as a corporate sales executive. You know, we're going to kind of start living more by our um, around our creative energy mm -hmm. and then, you know, going on from there. And Amira, what happened was just we couldn't have foreseen this happening. So did you notice your creativity was soaring as well? Oh, as yeah. And everybody right. else around you is having a meltdown. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, my God. She is like, yeah. she it. <laughs> it, seems, it seems not quite fair, but, you know, I'm amused with it myself. Um, and I think the biggest thing is listening to that inner voice to say, when it, when it actually your mind is saying, I've got to do this, I should be doing that. Mm -hmm. And you've got a long list of things to do. But at the same time, your spirit's going, unplug, have some fun or do nothing. Just go within. And people have the hardest time because I've heard this from several clients this week going, I just feel guilty. I feel guilty not doing anything, right? I'm I should be doing hand. something. I, I'm raising my hand as you're saying that because have I or have I not said that? Yeah. And I still do it if, if there are times when I'll be sitting around and I'll have this look, I guess, on my face and say, I don't go, what's wrong? I just... I feel guilty. I should be doing something. <laughs> and that's a hard, I got to tell you, and I think you can attest to this as well. That's a hard one. To get it's a program of. deep, deep, deep yes. within. We're all conditioned that way because we're validated and we are supposedly air quotes successful when we've accomplished according to what people, the world around us tells us, you know, if you work hard, you're going to be loved more or successful in whatever endeavor and I I'm finding that the rules of manifesting are flipping on us mm -hmm. yeah and and that's crazy making for those of us who are thinking we know what we're doing I've said it I don't know how many times this week go sit your ass in the grass yeah yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I think from from now till probably the end of October we are being pushed and urged and nudged to get quiet, to go within, 
to, you know, maybe go against what you would normally do, because that's exactly what we're trying to do is purge these patterns that no longer um, will align with, I would say, the new rules of manifesting. So in order to be met, to manifest what we really want, we got to get quiet and we've got to sometimes do something that's opposite to our logical mind. Yeah. It's the, and it feels, it almost feels like a panic attack. Okay. I think we can express this. It almost feels like a panic attack because the new energy coming in is saying you've never experienced this before. So it feels awkward. Um, and it almost is expressed like a panic attack when you sit in the stillness. Anxiety, overwhelm, because your mind is racing. I was talking to a client earlier today, and it was like she was like this squirrel running up and down the tree and then into the next tree and trying to find a branch where it felt like it was safe enough. And I feel like that's where our minds are going, just real squirrely, really Nazi analogy. Yeah. Great analogy. The more the more <laughs> that we are really um getting into our passion and really having a good time, we're noticing there are hummingbirds around here, but all of a sudden there were three pairings of them and they are coming in within what? Well, they came within two feet of your face last night. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention and he goes, Oh my god. <laughs> so they're moving in closer. How All kinds of that. that. Yeah, I yeah. got the cardinals swooping around me. And oh, sure. um, yeah, that, that, that's that been beautiful. So it's interesting that you notice the same thing. And I yeah. think it's because our frequency is shifting. And right? they're yeah. noticing. Yeah, and, and I totally believe that because we've got, I know one chipmunk that is just fascinated, but skeptically fascinated he'll come up to within about seven or eight feet of us but you know just checking you out checking you out then he, okay that's enough we've got orioles that are i had one the other morning the awning uh from where i was sitting was like six seven feet away from me and this oriole came landed on it they never do that number one number two it looked dead at me squawked three times lightly and then took off and gross beaks and all the animals are just like cardinals too cardinals they're just mm-hmm. like yeah we're not we know you guys are there we're not worried about you we're not you know going to be your best buds or anything but we're not worried about you and you can see almost in their eyes they know well could it be and i'm just thinking out loud um if if we're feeling the effect of these new energies on the planet i mean the four leggeds and the wing right. animals they've got to be feeling this too but i've been saying this for quite some time um i've been doing this work now for 20 over 20 years and i kept saying over and over we're coming into an era where veil is thinning between worlds we're going to see more of our loved ones and alien beings or extraterrestrials and and other you know creatures that we might call a creature i'll call them a being but i think if you can say that we're starting to see through the veil what are the animals seeing right oh yeah and as they could be seeing our loved ones from the other side or they could be seeing our beautiful radiant divine light that's starting to shimmer around our auric field and so I think that's kind of what's going on. And they're coming closer because there is no less erratic, even though we're feeling like a chipmunk too, trying to figure out this new energy <laughs> and how far are we going to go with it, right? It's just, <laughs> and I think they're trying to comfort us and real and show us that this is this is all good.